Hello! Welcome back to the Terra Devlog, a survival and exploration game set on your very own procedurally generated planet. Last time we got planetary movement working, so that means that today we can do some work on our procedurally generated planet. For now we've been using this boring sphere which I put an earth texture on to make it look a bit more exciting, but today we're taking it to an entirely new level by using something called voxels. You've probably heard about voxels before, it's a pixel, but with volume, voxel. Like for example in the game Teardown, made up of millions of these small destructible boxes, voxels. Cube World, slightly bigger boxes, voxels. Astroneer, slightly smoother ground, but still voxels. That weird Swedish indie game, voxels. There are plenty of games using voxels as an art style, such as Crossy Road and Unrailed. But voxels can also be used in terrain generations to generate 3D terrain. And by that I mean terrain with overhangs and cool caves, which usually has to be faked when using regular 2D height maps to generate your terrain. Another great aspect of using voxels to generate our terrain is that it's easy to modify the terrain while playing. Like for example when you break a block in Minecraft or use your fancy terrain gun in Astroneer. And this is something I want to be possible in Terra as well. As you can probably tell, Minecraft and Astroneer look very different even though they use pretty much the same technology. And that's simply because they use two different algorithms to render the terrain based on the same type of voxel data. That's why we can also just install a mod for Minecraft that makes all the blocks look smooth, just like the terrain in Astroneer. For Terra, I want my voxel terrain to have the same kind of low poly smooth look as in Astroneer, not the blockiness that we see in Minecraft. I've made some voxel systems for terrain generation before. My bachelor's project was doing voxels. But for Terra, I want to use a solution that I've been following for a while that does voxel generation way better than I could ever dream of making on my own. And that is the voxel plugin for Unreal Engine. This plugin is paid, but it offers amazing tools to make procedural voxel terrain, place foliage, terraforming, and way more practical stuff. So it's 100% worth it. I will link it in the description if you want to check it out. So Terra will use this plugin to generate the procedural planets. Let's install it and try to make some voxel terrain. The voxel plugin gives us these voxel graphs, which basically is a new graph system that allows us to make our own custom noise function. And then when you place the graph into the world, this noise function will be turned into a surface. And a great thing about using noise functions is that you can specify a seed and if this seed changes, then we get variations of our noise function. This means we get infinite variations of our terrain. This is the same logic as, for example, Minecraft uses for its terrain generation. So let's try to make a noise function that provides a spherical surface for a planet. And luckily the voxel plugin seems to have our backs here with the make sphere surface function. Very cool, perfect. Let's add some simple noise to the surface of the sphere as well. And as easy as that, we have a planet surface that has some simple terrain variation. And in the future, we can of course make this as complex as we want to get different biomes and interesting topography. Nice! I played around with the voxel materials as well. And pretty soon I got a simple grass color for my hills and a blue color representing water. Keep in mind that this is very much still prototype work and the finished planet will definitely not be this simple. But for now, I just need a simple surface so that I can continue working on some functionality. This is probably a good time to actually build the project and test it as a finished game, just to make sure that the planet generation and multiplayer works well outside of the editor as well. So I quickly made a simple menu that creates and joins multiplayer sessions, package the game, and yeah, it looks like it's working well. Amazing. Currently, the planet looks awfully empty and boring though, but luckily, the voxel plugin has some features that lets us generate foliage on our voxel surface. So I messed around in their templates to see how this is done, and pretty quickly I got the whole planet's surface filled with these cones. <laughs> now my planet is probably very painful to walk on. <laughs> Except if I go to the sides of the planet, because currently all the cones are pointing straight up and are not rotated to be aligned with the planet's surface. So, to fix that, we can simply rotate all our points to be oriented towards the planet's center. And now, no matter where we go on our planet, we have spikes piercing through our feet. Nice! 
The templates had some functionality to randomize the point location a bit as well, so it doesn't look like all the cones are placed on a grid. So after playing around with those values a bit, the placement looks way more natural. I quickly got tired of looking at cones though, so I opened the blender and modeled a quick prototype of a tree. I gave it some pretty colors and added that as the point mesh instead. And there we go, that's a lot better. Now we have a ton of trees instead of cones. I made them have some variation in the size as well to make it look a bit more natural. And it's a lot more cooler walking around on our planet now, even though these trees are pretty boring as well, but still, it makes it seem a lot more like a real planet. Except we have trees in the water. So I'll have to tell the generator to remove all the points below a certain height. And that makes the water trees go away. Nice! And the cool thing about all of this being procedural as well, is that I can increase the planet's size a ton, and the forest will still generate correctly. But when the planet is at this scale, we can clearly see the flaw of using noise to generate our terrain. It very quickly becomes repetitive. Even though it's all noise and it's all different for each seed, it kind of looks like it's just a repeated pattern from far away. Therefore, a very common thing to do is to layer different sizes of noise on top of each other to make some bigger variations. So I copied my noise and made it a lot bigger. Then I added the bigger and the smaller noise values together. And this generated these continent-like shapes. And that definitely makes the surface look more varied. Not as repeated as before. Now we have huge forests and oceans. And in the borders between the forests and the oceans, we have islands and areas that have less trees. So this proves how versatile noise functions really are. If they're used creatively, you can make all kinds of different biomes just using noise. I definitely look forward to experimenting more with biomes in the future. Cool, our planet is slowly evolving. And I'll end this devlog here, but first I would like to say thank you for the huge amount of support on my previous Terra devlog. It seems like you're as excited as me to start this game, and I really appreciate that. And some of you also mentioned being interested in the source code for Tribes, so I've made this public now on GitHub. The link to that will be in the description if you want to use it. It's probably not the best code in the world, but it works, so yeah. Thanks a lot for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. And if you enjoyed this one, a like would bring a big smile to my face. Thanks a lot, catch you later!